सेवंथ ऑफ नवंबर एन ऑर्डिनरी मैन एक्सपीरियंसेस प्लेसेंट पेनफुल एंड न्यूट्रल फीलिंग्स एंड सो डस द इंस्ट्रक्टेड नोबल डिसाइपल सो व्हाट इज द डिस्टिंक्शन द डिविशन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन देम व्हेन एन ऑर्डिनरी मैन इज टच बाय अ पेनफुल फीलिंग he worries and grieves laments beast his breast weeps and is distraught he therefore experiences a bodily feeling and a mental feeling it is as if a man were pierced by a dart and following the first piercing he was hit by a second dart he would experience the feelings caused by both darts and so it is with the ordinary man having been touched by a painful feeling he resists and resents it and so a deep tendency of resistance and resentment comes into being under the impact of that painful feeling he then proceeds to enjoy sensual happiness and why does he do so because the ordinary man knows no other escape from painful feelings except the enjoyment of sensual happiness then in enjoying sensual happiness a deep tendency to lust for pleasant feelings comes into being he does not know as it really is the arising and ending of those feelings their satisfaction their danger or the escape from them in lacking this knowledge the deep tendency to ignorance about neutral feeling comes into being so whether he feels a pleasant painful or neutral feeling he feels it as one fettered by it he is fettered to birth old age and death to sorrow lamentation pain grief and despair he is fettered to suffering i declare but when the instructed noble disciple is touched by a painful feeling he does not worry grieve or lament he does not beat his breast or weep nor is he distraught it is one feeling only that he experiences a bodily one and not a mental one it is as if a man were pierced by a dart but was not pierced by another dart following the first one and so it is with the instructed noble disciple having been touched by that painful feeling he neither resist nor resent it and so no deep tendency for resistance or resentment comes into being hence in consequence of the painful feeling he does not proceed to enjoy sensual happiness and why not because he knows an escape from painful feeling other than by enjoying sensual happiness then in not enjoying sensual happiness no deep tendency to lust for a pleasant feeling comes into being he knows as it really is the arising and ending of those feelings their satisfaction their danger and the escape from them knowing this no deep tendency to ignorance as to neutral feelings comes into being so whether he feels a pleasant painful or neutral feelings he feels it as one free from it he is free from birth old age and death from sorrow 
lamentation, pain, grief and despair. He is free from suffering, I declare.